Hey everybody, I'm back again, and today I'm going to make a video that's a little different. I'll get back to my usual stuff probably next month, but uh, what I have for you today is a sealed box of books that just came from my publisher. And uh, there's kind of a tradition that some authors who like to make videos about their writing journey and whatnot sometimes open them on film, and uh, they usually cry when they see their book. And I don't think I'm going to cry, but I figured I should uh, videotape it and show you guys what it's like to open the box that has my books that I wrote in it. So, uh, here we go. You ready for this? Okay, moment of truth here. And there they are. My own copies of my book. There are like 10 of them in here. <laughs> Alright, so I have a book. Um, so I'm going to show you, here's the cover. Um, it looks like a really nice little dust jacket and on the back we have all the quotes from my blurbers and on the inside there I am my little author flap and on this inside cover we have a, a little blurb about the book and what's in it so this is pretty incredible right now we uh, finally have a book for the for the layperson in the asexual community and uh, I really hope that this book is going to make a really big difference for one of the last demographics that we haven't been reaching for like kind of the traditional, you know, the people who go to a bookstore and they're like, I have to have a book in my hands. I'm not going to look up stuff on the Internet and look up some girl talking to a video camera about the terrible letters she gets. So, you know, I really I think this is going to help with the steps forward that our community has been trying to take and all of you guys who have been watching me all these years have been also helping with that sharing my videos telling people about my materials and I just thank you so much for supporting me so much where you have um, for those of you who might be interested in getting your own copy I'm gonna rattle off the details of course it's available at Amazon Barnes & Noble books a million uh, through the websites. It's probably not at this point going to be carried on the shelves in a bookstore unless you order it in just because the publisher that I got a book deal with is primarily a library focused imprint so they're mostly going to be um, pitching the book's purchases to institutions and libraries. If you would like to get your library to order copies in or you have a university library that would like to have it in maybe their queer literature or their women's studies or their sexuality uh, sections or for any other reasons that you might want to think of, I have a flyer that I'm going to put a link to in the info box where you can get all the information for how to order it. It is available in hardcover, but it is also available in ebook. If you wanted to get it from uh, any of the retailers that sell the hardcover, they should have the e version. And it has also sold to Audible for the audio version, so you can get that and uh, listen to the book. So it's available in those three formats, and who knows, maybe someday paperback if it sells really well. So, uh, beyond that, if you wanted to get an autographed copy, I've been getting messages from some of you guys about, like, how do I get a signed copy? And uh, I was really surprised by that, by the way. I can't believe that anybody would actually want that, but some of you guys do. So, um, it's kind of expensive and uh, um, difficult to to schlep these through the mail, the hardcover books. So um, what I have available is book plates. I can sign for you a book plate that, if you don't know what that is, it's just a, it's like a sticker that goes on the inside of a book. And I sign the sticker and then you stick it on the inside of your book and then that way I only have to mail you the sticker and it's not expensive for you or for me. So if you want to get a book plate, I'm making that available through my website. The link's going to be also in the info box under where you click the purchase option. And so that's one of the things that you can purchase. 
and you can get that from me either through uh, paying for it through PayPal or you can send money to my P.O. box manually. And there's also actually an electronic way to get a signature, which is only for ebooks, but it's done through a company called Authograph. So um, that information is also on my, uh, my site about how to purchase an autograph. So um, other than that, let's see, I thought I might read to you some of the, uh, the blurbs that I got from the, the people that are recommending it in their quotes. And um, the front quote is from Carol Queen with whom I uh, worked on an article for Good Vibrations. She accepted one of the pieces that I sent her. And uh, she is the founding director of the Center for Sex and Culture, among other things. She's also an author. And her recommending quote up here on the front says, a must read that may well offer the kind of sucker, support, and information that every person across the sex, gender, and partnering spectra deserves. So I think that's a really great way to sum it up. On the back, I have a uh, a quote from Charlie Glickman, who is a, he's, it says here he's a certified sexological body worker. He's also an author, and I used to work with him as an editor at Good Vibrations also. And here's what he says. He says, this book shines a much needed light on an experience that's far more common than most people realize. Julie Decker brings together the many different voices and stories of asexual people, presents valuable information and offers helpful insight about how non-asexual people can be supportive. If you or someone you know is or might be asexual, read this book. Asexuality is part of the sexuality spectrum and you need the invisible orientation on your shelves. The next one's from Kendra Holliday. Um, she does the, the Beautiful Kind blog and she has lots of articles about uh, sexuality and whatnot and this is this is a really interesting quote. Uh, it's a partial quote. She says, uh, I'll admit it, I used to think asexuality was not real. Boy, was I ignorant. This book is a comprehensive learning tool for those who are asexual, as well as those who are asexual curious. Advocating respect, this rare and precious resource will open your eyes and set the record straight in a clear and straightforward manner. Prepare to have your mind blown. I don't know about mind blowing, but uh, if she says so. Uh, the next one I got was from uh, Mark Kerrigan. Um, this is actually just kind of an excerpt from what he said. And uh, he's, a, he's a, from the Department of Sociology at the University of Warwick. And uh, this is what we printed on the back of the book. He says, this is a long overdue book. It provides a sense of what it is like to be asexual that can sometimes be missing from academic work. It is a book with the potential to make a positive difference to many people's lives and help combat what the author describes as the insidious form of exclusion that asexual people continue to experience. And then one more quote I have um, from Violet Blue. Um, she is the author of, it says, The Smart Girl's Guide to Privacy, um, and she does uh, Best Women's Erotica. She edited that and um, has a lot of stuff into, into the, um, in the sexuality-related writing. So um, there's sort of this crossover here where um, I was hoping to get some people to blurb the book who were uh, who are open-minded in other um, examinations of sexuality because you know asexuality needs to be represented in those places too. So uh, this is what she says: This book demystifies the common misconceptions that asexual people are broken or that their orientation is the result of sexual abuse or trauma. Warm and thorough. It shines a light on asexuality throughout all stages of life and acts as a positive guide for navigating successful relationships of all kinds and with all genders and orientations. So that's what people have been saying about it and I'm hoping to get a whole bunch more uh, nice reviews from people. If you read the book and you would like to help me out by uh, reviewing it on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Goodreads, that would be wonderful. So, um, also, I should tell you a couple of other things that I've been doing. I did an interview with Brian of a -OK Video, and you can see that on his channel, a Everything's a -OK. And that was a fun little short video where he talks about, uh, asks me some questions about the book, and I answered, it's pretty short, unlike most of my videos. And also, there's going to be a giveaway. Um, if you act fast, when you first see this video. Uh, the giveaway is going to be done through the goodreads.com site. It's going to be open from August 24th, 2014 
through August 30th, 2014. So if you see this video after that, it's going to be closed. But my publisher is giving away five free copies of the book. So if you are a Goodreads member or you would like to become one, uh, you will be able to enter to win one copy of the book. So that's, uh, that's going live um, on the 24th, so look for that, and um, I'll update the video box to have the direct link once that happens. And um, so uh, make sure that you follow me on social media and whatnot if you want to know about any new things that are coming up, and also have a newsletter that is available for if you want to get it delivered directly to your email. I update maybe four times a year, so it's not a really... Um, frequent newsletter but it just gives you the most important stuff so um, yes so I have a book coming out and you probably want to read it if you're one of my subscribers so I'm really excited and I would love to hear from you guys about what you think and uh, I, I'm so excited that I'm gonna be able to um, engage with some of you maybe get some some more really good mainstream attention for the subject and uh, I can't wait to find out where we're going next, so uh, thank you so much for all your support for all this time. Uh, I love you guys!